Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you guys want to check out my social media or check out a badass kick-ass original story, check out the links down in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video. So I know I've said this in the last couple of reviews, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the nice comments and the likes, subscribes, follows on Instagram. It really does mean the world to me, especially the vlog that we did. I have some more awesome reviews coming, some special reviews, some news and stuff like that. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Let's go ahead and talk about some more Wes Anderson. Now, I'm excited today because I get to talk about the Grand Budapest Hotel, and this was a phenomenal film. I love the cast of characters. I love the look of the film. This is Wes Anderson at his best, in my opinion. Now, granted, I have not seen every Wes Anderson film. There are some that I have not seen yet so far, but I am going to watch them. And yeah, let's dig a little bit deeper into this film. For a first time viewer of the Grand Budapest Hotel, the first thing you're probably going to notice is the different aspect ratios that they use for the different time periods. That's actually one of my favorite things about the film because in a way, yeah, it does kind of baby you into what time period you're in, but at the same time, it gives it this cool aesthetic and it really does sort of pop the movie out a little bit more. It's almost like you're looking, it's like you're watching a film. I mean, it's, it's, it's reminding you, you are watching a film, but I really like how the story is structured into these different time periods and the aspect ratio bars, it's like an instant pop. And don't even get me started on the acting. Now, this, in my opinion, is probably the most mature Wes Anderson film that I've seen. Uh, and that's just simply for the story, some of the scenes that are in the movie. Some of the scenes actually really did kind of take me off guard a little bit. And uh, especially where they're talking about the hotel manager, uh, you know, the stuff that he's into. There's also the finger scene. And everybody really does nail the film. I mean, Jeff Goldblum is in this movie. Willem Dafoe, that dude from King Kong. And I forget what the main character's name is, uh, but it's just absolutely a blast to watch. And you got Owen Wilson, Bill Murray. Well, Bill Murray's not a surprise, but there's a huge cast in this film. And that is one thing that I can kind of, and, and I guess this kind of goes with David Lynch too. And I guess probably like, you know, Tarantino and Scorsese. You can tell these actors like to work with the director that they're working with because Wes Anderson uses Bill Murray a lot. I mean, seriously. Even though Bill Murray's not really in this film that long, it's still nice to see him. And some of the locations that they take you to in this film, like I said, the way the film looks is absolutely beautiful. This is this is Wes Anderson just in one movie. Like if I had to describe Wes Anderson in one film, I would choose the Grand Budapest Hotel. Now, I, my opinion could change after I watch some more. I know I'm going to watch uh, Steve Zizou and uh, the Royal Tenenbaums and Moonrise Kingdom. Um, maybe even the French Dispatch. You know, French Dispatch looks really Wes Anderson from the trailer. But the Grand Budapest Hotel was a film that I felt comfortable watching. And that's one thing that I've heard people describe about Wes Anderson's film is you're comfortable while you're watching it. It's just a comfortable film to watch, whatever film you're watching by him. And I don't know, it just kind of makes you feel a little bit warm and fuzzy inside. It's fun, you can relax, you can watch it, and it's entertaining. And it's really interesting to watch this Grand Budapest Hotel story fold out. I mean, there's a lot of twists and turns in the film. There's a lot of, I wouldn't say twists, but there are a lot of turns. There's a lot of stuff that happens. And it really is just this awesome adventure that I think everybody should take. And if you're looking forward to checking this film out, the Criterion, 50% off. I mean, I'm not sponsored by Criterion at all. I just think Criterion's a really good deal. This is one of the coolest Criterions that I own. But anyway, guys, my final score for the Grand Budapest Hotel, I'm going to give it a perfect 10 out of a 10. I think it is a masterpiece. I think Grand Budapest Hotel is just absolutely magnificent. It is so worth the watch. If you have not seen a Wes Anderson film, or if I had to recommend one Wes Anderson film to watch, it's the Grand Budapest Hotel. Now, I know a lot of people say the Royal Tenenbaums is the best uh, Wes Anderson film. I do have that, and I am excited to watch that. It's going to be a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe. Thank you guys so much for the support so far. And I'll see you guys in the next review.